Hey everyone, it's Emily and today I'm going to be telling you about my braces and my molds and I'll give you an abbreviated version of what happened, like everything we did for my molding and then I'll tell you a little bit more in detail about my braces. So let's just get started. So first of all, the molding. We took like two x-rays and we took a few pictures of my teeth and then we did the molds. And the molding is not the most fun part, but you just kind of have to go through with it. And it's over fast. Um, I think mine was, it was between 10 to 30 seconds or something like that. But they do overfill the molds, but it kind of like, it feels like there's a ton of goop in your mouth. You just have to tell yourself, you know, this is almost over, you know, or if they just put it in your mouth, like, you just say, it's going to be quick, it's going to be fast, like, it'll be over before I know it, and try to calm yourself down, and breathe through your nose, that also helps a whole lot, um, just, like, in through your nose and up through your nose, and kind of, like, like, not, try not to think about it. Then she took a mold of my bottom teeth, and then she did my bite, um, my bite mold. And that one was really cool because she was able to show me that. Then she put in spacers in my teeth. And the spacers are not fun, but they're not horrible. Like, um, what it is is these little elastic bands that they put in between your teeth so that, um, it's, like, pushes your teeth apart so they can fit these things in better. I don't know if you can see this. Those metal bracket things. It helps them go in a whole lot easier and um, it's better to have them go in nice and easy and have, instead of having them being like, like pressing down really hard. Um, but so, and it feels like you have, you know when you got a popcorn skin stuck in between your tooth? It feels just like that. A little bit thicker, but not, like, horrible, horrible. But it's not, like, the most comfortable thing. When you eat, it's, you're going to feel pressure. But the best thing to do, like, take, if it's really, really, really bad, take Advil or Tylenol. Anything you take for a headache, it'll fix it. Um, but when you eat, like, the first two days, it's going to be pressure, but after that, it's really easy, and it's, like, it's, like, there's nothing even there anymore. So, now I'm going to tell you a little bit more in detail about my braces, and I'll also show you guys what I got. So, I'll start off with, um, like, what we did, and first thing we did was we sized the brackets, and I had kind of a hard time because she kept getting either too small or too big. So it took, that did take a long time. But, um, like she would put it in and she had this special tool and she'd say bite down. And she went all around the, t like the bracket. And, um, she'd ask like how it felt. And if you said it hurt, she'd take it out and she'd replace it with another one. It, it's just a lot of, like, trying one size up and, like, backtracking and doing stuff like that. And, um, I only got to put on three because I have a tooth. I have a tooth coming in on this side and they said that's why it hurt a little bit more on that side. Instead of, like, like the other sides. The other sides were fine, but that one... Um, the, what the doctor said that that's normal. If you have a tooth coming in, it's going to be a little bit more pain, like not painful, like pressure all around your tooth. And it's not bad. She, you just tell her and she'll take it out. So, but anyways, so she did that and then she took this thing and this wasn't comfortable either. She took this thing to stretch out your mouth. And then she did a suction thing, which they didn't position quite right for me because it did not really help me that much. Um, and it kind of, like, the way she put it in, 
it kind of cut into like underneath my tongue so that wasn't the best experience but I mean it wasn't really that long that I had it in my mouth and you just kind of like I said you kind of have to put up with it so um what she did with that process was she was putting on uh she's putting on the like metal parts not the wire part like those little square things she's putting those things on and what they do is they take a special adhesive glue and they put it on and after they put that on they use this special light and they like tat t touch it they touch it and then they touch it and then they just keep going along with the light and it um like activates the glue then after she did that she asked me what color i would like and i picked out this really pretty blue look oh and um if you guys want a nail tutorial on my fingernails like this video down below and i will do one so but um and those elastics are there so that they will keep the wire in place. And she takes this wire and she cuts it and then she, this is going to sound a little crazy. Oh, and hang on, my earring was all flipped over. Sorry. <laughs> um, she cut the wire and then she took a lighter. And you don't have to worry, it's not going to be hot at all. It looks like it's going to be like like hot when she puts it in your mouth but it really isn't it cools down very fast and she just lightly like uh like held it on there for a couple seconds and then she was able to bend it and it took her kind of a while to figure out like how long I needed it and it wasn't there was something and it wasn't working quite right I don't know why but she had to undo it and re- like she had to cut it again and rebend it and fix it that way and then she finally was like okay now we have to um glue the brackets in place and what she takes is she takes them out and she puts a special glue on the inside and she pushes them back into place and after she does that and like i said before with the molds they do kind of overfill it, and it does feel weird, but she cleans it out. And then she takes um, the same light thing, and she puts it on that tooth, and she like does it like twice for the tooth, and it hardens it, and she does that for all of the brackets. And like I said, I did not get it on this bottom because there's a tooth coming in there. And so that was the experience, that was my whole experience. And then she gave me everything and she kind of like went over quickly with everything that I had to do to clean them. And that whole process took one hour, if not an hour, 50 minutes, 50 minutes to like an hour long. And I wasn't expecting it to be that long. I was hoping that it only take 30 minutes, but now that I think of it, there, there's a lot that you have to do for it, and um, I'm just glad I didn't get the bottoms on yet. I get them in the future, not I don't get them on just just yet because of the way my bite goes. But um, then I would have been there for two whole hours, and that wouldn't have been fun. But so far, I'm not having knock on wood after saying this. I don't have too too much pain. It's more of a pressure feeling. And if, once I start feeling a little bit more pain, I just take some Advil and it helps it, like, almost immediately and I, then I don't have any pain. So I'm going to go over real quick what they gave me. So the very first thing they gave me is they gave me this soft, brish, soft bristle, soft bristle toothbrush and it's so that you can like get underneath the wires and um like you don't uh damage your wires or anything then they gave me and this is probably the worst thing of all they gave me 
mouthwash. But they didn't ask me what flavor I wanted. They just gave me bubblegum flavored. And I don't like the flavor of bubblegum, really. Um, and especially in mouthwash, it's really gross. So I'm going to get myself some better mouthwash. Then, well, this, uh, the toothbrush came in here. And what comes in here, I'll take it out real quick. They give you this special wax, and I've already used some of it. And what you use is special, it's a uh, dental wax. Um, it says it, uh, orthodontic, orthodontic patient wax. And what, what this is for is if one of your, uh, like, brackets or whatever is cutting into your lip or your cheek, you just break off a little piece and you stick it on. Well, because it was bothering me on the actual bracket parts, like the things that pop into your teeth. Um, I wasn't able to get it just right, so I haven't been able to actually, like... And it didn't really bother me, it just was more, it was there, and it was not so much cutting in, it was just like rubbing, and I didn't really like that. So, they give you this wax, and then they give you, give you a two minute timer, and this is how long you're supposed to brush your teeth. And after the two minute, and then they give you these things called floss threaders. And I'll take, they give you a pack of 12, and they look like this. Hang on, let me take one out. Um, it looks like this. It looks like a needle, almost, but it's not a needle, because it's not pointy at all. And you floss the, floss the, like, you thread the floss through here, and you put it in between your, like, between your wire and your tooth. Because if you were to try to regularly floss, it hit the wire and it wouldn't do anything. Um, but I don't actually really use these. I don't really have to. I just take the um, the floss and I just stick it through there. So, but they give you a pack of 12, or at least they did at my place. Then they give you, and I find this so cool, they give you a travel toothbrush. So if you were traveling... Which, now that I feel, it's a little bit harder bristled, but whatever. Um, they give you um, a travel toothbrush. They give you, obviously, some floss. And I have already flossed with this tooth. Um, so I'm not going to actually like show you guys um, some real in-depth look of my floss. Um... Then they give you, you know those dentist mirrors, and I love these things, so that you can, like, put this and see if there's something behind your teeth or whatever. And the one thing I gotta say, this mirror is not really the best mirror. Um, it's kind of, like, scratched up already, and I've only had it for a day, and it's been in here. So, they give you this, and then the last thing they give you, um... And they give you the special um, bristle brush, I call it. And it looks just like this. Um, and I love how it's like rubberized right here. And this is if, in case you have something in between your wires. You just take it and you like go through there to kind of clean um, in between there and... Um, what I've actually been using it for, because I'm really good at uh, keeping things out of my, like, wires. But, when I was trying to get the wax on my tooth, I had a hard time, and there's some holes. And I just took it, and I, like, pushed through there, and it got the wax out. So, that is all they gave me, and that is all that I have to tell you. I will give you an updated, um, I'll do an updated video next week, next Thursday maybe, um, how, like, how I'm doing with it so far. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the button down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye!